hear me okay. It's a little windy out here today. We're uh, back working on the 2013 Dodge Dart that I got from Copart. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to work on getting uh, this uh, right front corner suspension apart so that I can uh, put in the new parts that I bought. Um, I picked up a brand new Moog lower control arm, uh, Moog inner and outer tie rod ends, and uh, that should, oh, and I brought a brand new uh, CV. So hopefully that will allow us to get this car running and driving and so I can get it up to the shop and tear the rest of it down. All right, so right now what I'm doing uh, is I am taking the uh, caliper off here so we can take the rotor off and work on getting the CV out. The 16 millimeter bolt that holds the caliper to the knuckle. Unfortunately, I don't have the tools down here because this is obviously you can see not my shop. Um, so I'm going to try and break break free of this tie rod end. Basically, what I'm going to do is try and get this knuckle off. We'll take it up to the garage or the shop as an assembly, and we'll break the we'll get the rotor off and up there. So we get the tie rod end off, the outer tie rod end off. That's an 18 millimeter bolt, and just. Tap with the hammer. And alright, that's disconnected. So now, now you can see the knuckle is almost free. That's also an 18 millimeter bolt that holds the strut to the knuckle. And we're gonna try and get this off. This there's some corrosion there. It's a steel strut against an aluminum knuckle, so this may be fun. should be free. We'll tap this off very lightly because it is an aluminum knuckle. You want to break it. So what happens is, is this, so this is a, a steel strut and this is alumin, an aluminum knuckle. They get, the two metals react and they get a lot of corrosion between them. I'm surprised this is actually coming off. There we go. All right, the knuckle is out of the way. Should be able to get the broken CV out. So here you can see the busted CV. It ripped it out at the boot. Um, otherwise, it probably wasn't too bad. See the knuckle. You can see where it snapped at the control arm. We'll have to separate this. We'll do this up at the shop. Uh, wheel bearing looks good. The rest of the knuckle looks pretty good. I don't see anything that's standing out at me, but we'll take it apart up in the shop. All right, guys. So I got the knuckle out of the way. I'm leaving the strut for now. Although we will probably change the strut because it's it's pretty rusty, but we're not doing that right now. My goal is just to get it to drive um, so I can get it to the shop. 
but you can see the, the inner tie rod is pretty bent. The outer one's actually not too bad. Um, we're probably gonna change it. I bought a new one anyway, just in case. It's actually still pretty stiff, so um, we'll just, we'll hold on to that as a spare. You can see the, the end link is busted here, so we'll have to separate this, separate it down there, and I'll have to order a new end link. I haven't done so yet. Um, so the next step would be to get this, con this uh, CV out and to get the inner tie rod out. And I bought a tool to do the inner tie rod, so we'll show you that. I don't know if that'll be tonight. Um, we got the caliper tucked up out of the way for now. Unfortunately, I'm getting a late start to this for the day. So we'll see how far we get today. There's actually three bolts that hold this lower CV in, or this the CV in. So we will get those out of here. This should pop right out. And it does. So there we go. All right, so you can see I got the CV out of place. The next thing we really need to tackle is taking uh, taking off this lower support brace here, or lower subframe. So you're gonna take these two bolts off here. You're gonna take these three or four bolts off here. And then we can get this control arm out because this bolt is, too long to try and sneak through there, so we'll uh, we'll get that off here. So in order to get this off, this has got three 15 millimeter bolts in it and a couple of these push pins that kind of hold it on. two more bolts under here they're also 15 millimeters you got to take this plate off as well so this can this subframe bar comes down Very windy out today, guys. Very windy. Just slide that out of the way. And there we go. This is the lower subframe, and it's out. We'll just stick that out of the way for now. Now we can get in here to our control arm and take the bolts off of it. That control arm bolt is 16 millimeter. See if we can get the old Milwaukee in here. One of the lower control arm bolts is out. This guy is going to be a lot more fun, I believe. That 
back one is a 15 millimeter on the bottom. Just about. Might have to use a little bit of the pry bar here. Kind of walk her out. pressure on it and there we go it's about out here hold on there we go all right guys this is the busted lower control arm off the 2013 Dodge Dart you can see it snapped right there um, otherwise, wasn't in too bad a shape. So now you can see we've pulled the lower subframe bar off. We've moved this bracket here, or the support bracket here, so out of the way so we can take the bar off. We've got the lower control arm out. We've got the knuckle and the caliper off. The last thing we have to do here, guys, is we need to take this inner tie rod end off. And that's where it's gonna be a challenge. Um, obviously, we've got the end link, but I'm not too concerned about that for the moment. Like I said, my goal is just to get it so it runs and drives up to my shop, so. All right, guys, so here's what I have. I have a Moog lower control arm. Uh, it is part number, hold on, RK2, uh, RK62264. It's about 90 bucks from Rock Auto and it's well packaged i like moog stuff i've been using their products for a long time um the o you could get oem control arms for this car uh but they're uh, i think like 250 bucks and for what i'm using it for the moog ones work great so So you can see I have my new uh, right-hand side CV or drive shaft. Um, we're going to stick this back in the car. I think I'm just going to make the uh, bent tie rod kind of just work for the moment because I literally only have to go a few hundred feet up there. So, um, and I really don't want to lay in the mud to change it. I hate laying in the mud and I hate working this way. Uh, unfortunately, this is as far as I could get the car the way it sat. So this is why you see me working on, on this outside here in the dirt. Um, so I think we're gonna try and just get the, we're just gonna limp it up the hill the way it is. I'm gonna get the CV in it. I'm gonna get the knuckle back on it. Um, I do have to replace the serpentine belt, so I don't know if I'll get it up into the shop tonight, uh, but hopefully tomorrow, um, ho hopefully tomorrow I can clear some space in the shop. Uh, right now I have my F-150 and the Mustang in there. Um, I'm going to kind of slide one of those out of the way for now uh, so I can get this car up in there and tear it, the rest of it down because uh, this is going to be my daily driver along with my, my Ram, which, um, you know, so I'm trying to get this, uh, this up pretty quick. So I think for the moment, uh, we'll, we'll put the knuckle back on, we'll put the CV back in, and if I, I, I guarantee you I won't have time to get this, the belt on tonight, uh, but hopefully tomorrow I can get the belt on and we can do a video and see it run and uh, get it up to the uh, shop. So this CV is fairly long. It should be 
a boatload of fun to get into place here. and get this ball joint out. All right, we have the bolt loose. I don't know if the ball joint's gonna come out. We may have to go up to the shop for this one. This may be where we call it a night, guys. I don't have my pickle fork down here. tool here. you gotta improvise when you're out in the field. Not the right way to take a ball joint out, I know. I'm sure somebody in the comments is gonna squawk about that. But There we go, ball joint is out. You can see, this is what's left of the lower control arm that snapped during the accident. Ball joint itself, not too bad. Probably wouldn't have changed that, um, with the exception of the nice big missing control arm. front corner mostly back together um, I wouldn't drive it on the road but it'll be back together enough where I can drive it up to the shop and start tearing it down some more and uh, you know see what else is wrong with the car um, if you if you liked what you saw today please remember to like and subscribe below there's gonna be more dart videos coming hopefully more Mustang and F-150 videos coming as well I got plenty of stuff to do on those um, so please stay tuned if you again if you if you like the video please click like and subscribe below.